Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be opening up the Extreme Damage Velociraptor. Here it is out of the packaging, and right now I'm just trying to show the articulation, which is kind of difficult because I'm working in a small space. And as you can see, you can move its head, its arms, and also its leg. Here's the code. You can pause the video to scan it. And right here uh, on the back is a well hidden button that which activates its extreme damage feature. And there's another Velociraptor. I kind of want to make a comparison with this one. And it's the original Battle Damage Blue. Now you see with this battle damage you can just like hit it and a little bit of pressure applied and it, it'll give blue the battle damage and when you take a closer look you can see the little knob and that is supposed to be there for keeping the piece in place and it's easier for opening and closing but we actually have seen this before all the way back in 2015 with the original uh indominus rex i think yeah, it was like the Indominus Rex versus a uh, gyrosphere where the little knob was disguised as a part of the spikes or one of the spikes on the Indominus. And you can see over here, come the button makes the battle damage way more easier to use. And it's more of a slashing uh, battle damage compared to kind of like the gash that Blue has. And when closed, you can see it kind of like has like a scar look to it. Now, I kind of want to compare the heads. I have the Hammond on the Hammond Collection Female Velociraptor on the left. I have the Extreme Damage on the right. Blue uh, on the bottom left. And the Legacy Collection on the bottom right. You can see there's like a little bit underbite on the newer Velociraptors and as we opened it up the Hammond collection has like a who oh, that's an extreme underbite if I ever seen any of it which makes me curious because all the regular ones don't have this issue so I don't know what's going on but I do say though that underbite does remind me of something Anyways, here is the length comparison. Again, it just seems like the newer Velociraptor just keeps... There's something going on. They keep getting shorter or being downgraded in some ways. But I don't know what's going on there. And here's the Extreme Damage Velociraptor. Probably one of my favorite raptors just because of the paint scheming. The sculpting, the sculpting is nice and all. But yeah, all pretty decent. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace.